An ex-Manchester United player, Paul Pogba, wrote this morning on Instagram, expect the unexpected. Well, the unexpected is what is happening to Kobe Mainu, the main man. Why? I will reveal you in a second, but he totally deserves to be on all the front pages of UK. It is international break, of course, but there are a lot of things to share. News from some national teams, the future of Bayern Munich with a sporting director that spoke, but also the future of Barcelona. Two players, maybe three players, pay attention to them. What about Toni Kroos and Adrien Rabiot without contract at the end of the year? If they don't extend, will they extend? Will they try to find glory in another European club? We have so many different topics to speak about and we will do it after you, of course. Put in a maximum of like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I know I'm asking a lot but the next step, the next stop is 2000 crazy football fan here on the channel and it all depends on you. A few clicks and we go now with Sunsport. Correct title, fantastic title. Main man, Kobe, 18 years old, he gets a shock call up. How did he react? I can't believe it. He couldn't believe in the unexpected because he had been called up for the under 21 and from one day to another, boom, he's finishing with the team of Southgate. How did it go actually? He's explaining it yesterday saying, I got a text from Steve Holland, that is the number two of Southgate, telling me to come at the reception to meet him. Crazy. What, what does he want? Why? Why me? And he just told me I've been called up just like that and I'm going to be training with the squad of next week. Crazy. Totally crazy story. I don't think it's really sunk in yet, but I am extremely excited. He can't believe it. Totally crazy. Of course, May knew, especially after his goal against Liverpool, the world is speaking about it. And the news about Kobe Mainu is also finishing in Italy, where they are reporting the words of Endo, Liverpool player that spoke about Mainu, saying, when I watched him, when I was observing him, when I was playing against him, he was dancing with a ball. And he was reminding me Zizou. Menu à la Zizou. Menu à la Zinedine Zidane. We are probably exaggerating. We are probably going a bit too fast. But it's not only Zidane that he has been compared to. Clarence Seedorf, another fantastic, beautiful legend of the football game. And at Manchester United, well, they are thinking about Paul Pogba. Not that much because of his way of playing, but of course because it's an incredible talent that is coming out of the youth academy. And they don't want to do the same mistake as they did in the past, letting him go for free like it happened in 12-13. Do you remember? To Juventus for zero euro. They want to invest on him. They want to believe in him. They want to create their own talent at home. Something that Radcliffe yesterday also announced. Stop looking for Mbappé. Stop looking for Bellingham. It would be totally crazy. We want to create our own players at home. We'll come back on his words in a second. And it's true that joining a team of your national team when you're 18, it's already a dream. But then when you're joining this team, that team, it's totally crazy. Some people, English fans, are repeating again. It's coming home. Can you blame them? Can you blame them when you're looking at that potential line of pick 14 the goal, Walker, Stones, Maguire, Shaw, then in the middle, Menu, Rice, Bellingham behind Harry Kane, with on the left, Foden, with on the right, Saka, and they even have a really beautiful bench. I can't blame them. I can't blame them. What a strong national team. Then there is a difference between having an extremely strong and extremely young national team and winning trophies but they will try to do everything that they can i already told you about the words of radcliffe that yesterday spoke he said no to mbappe no to bellingham we will grow our own players a beautiful strategy is it because he can't spend i don't believe so they have money he, because the strategy changed and he knows that it's really important because now the prices of players they are increasing month after month after month not only about top players but also babies what are we speaking about? 16 years old player, El Pibe de Oro. This is the nickname of Maradona, but also the new, new, new nickname of Mastantuono. Who is Mastantuono? Argentinian player, 16 years old, 10 games, one goal with River Plate. Yesterday he has seen his contract extended until 2026, but the most important thing, there is a release clause. 45 million euro that can even increase in the last 10 days of transfer market to 50 million euro. They know it in Argentina, in Brazil, after the big clubs looking for their extremely young talents, 16 years old, Hendrik. Now, Mastantuan and so many different players, they know that they can sell and they don't want to undersell. And that's why they are putting 
closes bigger and he could become one of the biggest, youngest, most expensive players from River Plate. Totally crazy. Where will he go? There are some interests from all the big teams. Mastantuono, El Pibe de Oro. Wait and see. There is a future also for Manchester United because they are maybe looking for another coach or at least this is what Mirror Sport and not only are speaking about. United, go for Garrett. Garrett Southgate, you are the one. After Ten Hag at the end of the season with Radcliffe, he wants to take the club more and more as his own, making big decisions. Not for Mbappé, no for Bellingham, but own talents and maybe a new coach where he can say, I trust you, go for it. You know England, you know the players. We trust you, go for it. Will it be a good decision or not? No idea. Of course, Southgate is someone that you can trust, can have a possible beautiful future at Manchester United, but I'm still not sure. Because he's speaking a lot and really well about, for example, the time and the trust that Arsenal gave to Arteta. Will he wait also for Ten Hag? Will he change immediately? Big question mark. At Bayern Munich, a lot of questions as well. And yesterday, Everl spoke exclusive to Sportbild, speaking about different topics. Trainer Suche, they are looking for a coach. He spoke about Xavi, saying yes, he was a Bayern Munich player. That's it. There is the potential, why not? But at the moment, that's it. We didn't contact him. He didn't contact us. There is no refusal. There is no approve approval. At the moment, we are waiting. One coach that I will not call up or that will not even try to start negotiation is Jurgen Klopp because nobody better than me know how difficult it is when you are out of energy. So no club on Xabi. We wait. And he also spoke about other things, about Kader Umbau. They are rechanging. They are building a new management and then he spoke about Mourinho because there was that question about Mourinho because Mourinho apparently according to some rumors is starting to learn German will he go to Bayern well he said <laughs> of course we're also looking for coaches who are currently available is he learning German I don't know so we don't know Mourinho at Bayern Munich would be a shocking news. I'm not sure if it's the best possible news, if it's the best possible wedding, but Mourinho, again, at the big, big club like Bayern Munich would be sensational. I think it's not the right choice. Let me know if you would see Mourinho training Bayern Munich. Speaking about Germans, Toni Kroos, he spoke as well, and he said, if I never saw a single second, a single minute of Musiala, just with the training session that we did here on Monday, this morning, it would have been enough. The guy is crazy. The guy is totally strong. We all agree with Tony Kroos. What we don't know about Tony Kroos and what he even doesn't know is what about his future. He doesn't know how his future will look like. He said it and he spoke about it yesterday. Have a contract until the end of the year. The rumors are saying because of the contract extension of Carlo Ancelotti, probably they will give him again one more year. Because this year is impressing a lot on the field, even when there were a lot of injuries. He's continuing to maintain a beautiful productivity and also being that mentor, that leader in a young, extremely young Real Madrid, especially in the midfield. So Toni Kroos with Real Madrid could happen. If not, he could leave and go somewhere else. Like Adrien Rabiot, that yesterday from Clairefontaine said, I didn't decide yet. Of course, I stayed at Juventus even without European competition. I was also thinking about Euro 2024. I'm fighting again a minor injury that is now over, but I feel extremely well. Well, now, of course, Champions League and also the fact that Juventus is participating to the FIFA World Cup for clubs in 2025 are important factors but I didn't decide yet I will wait but before Euro 2024 I will have taken a decision what about Paris Saint-Germain every single summer they are speaking about my transfer my potential transfer to Paris Saint-Germain at the moment I didn't decide yet but we have to keep the doors open. Even if the way I left Paris Saint-Germain and the way it ended would be extremely difficult. So we can say that at the moment, it's not his priority. In France, Didier Deschamps, this week, this game, the next game, he will be there on the bench of L'Equipe de France for the 150th time. And in France, they are saying more and more and more, he is the almighty Deschamps tout puissant. 
A beautiful word. Benzema is not thinking about the national team, especially not with Didier Deschamps, but he's thinking about the Jeux Olympiques, the Olympic Games. Why not, did he say? Like Griezmann, that is not there with l'équipe de France because of a small injury, is also dreaming about les JO. Euro 2024, Jeux Olympiques for Griezmann, he's really believing it. He wants to. One player that will unfortunately not represent his country, but also in the next coming weeks, six, seven weeks, maybe until the end of the season, will be Thibaut Courtois. At Real Madrid, Los Blancos were waiting for the number one goalkeeper. Yesterday, another injury. Rotto, 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 otra vez. Another time injured meniscus, a total disaster. It's a pity. He said thank you to all the support from the fans and promising that he will come back stronger than ever. That's a difficult one. That's a big promise. Coming back stronger as ever is a really huge one. On the other side of Spain, Catalonia, el futuro son ellos, the future, these guys that have been called up with the first team of national t uh, Spain, el futuro son ellos about Yamal and Kubarsi. Two players that are not only doing the beautiful days of Barcelona, but also will, and for a really long time, probably for the next 20, 25 years, the beautiful days of the Spanish La Roja. Barcelona is thinking about the future with their young kids, but probably also thinking about the financial future, and they know it. There is a player that is a bit older, but it is earning a lot of money. Lewandowski could possibly end his future at Barcelona already this summer. And who is looking at him? It is Atletico Madrid that is dreaming about a Suarez negotiation. Do you remember Suarez from Barcelona to Atletico Madrid, where he scored even 21 goals that are actually a lot? Well, Lewandowski could move from Barcelona to Madrid, Atletico Madrid. Adoro o Morita e o Ullman are the words on Abola from Bruno Fernandes is speaking, speaking, speaking. Well, they're really focused in Portugal on that Euro 2024. They believe that they have some chances to win it. He spoke about everything, but there was one thing that yesterday we didn't mention and that today came up. What about Guardiola? I believe è o melhor treinador do mundo. O melhor treinador do mundo. I don't speak Portuguese, but I understand particularly well that sentence. Guardiola is the best coach on the world. I'm not sure if Eric Ten Hag will be extremely happy to hear these words from his midfielder. There will be Portugal against Sweden, and the eyes will not be only about one of the favorites of Euro 2024, but also on Gioqueres. Gioqueres that is said, I need to improve with my headers. I need to become better scoring goals with my head. On the other side, future is far away. I want to win titles, that's what I'm focused on, and we have time for the future to decide where I will go or not. In Italy, tragic news. In Italy, tragic news. Joe Barone, sporting director of Fiorentina, yesterday passed away. On Sunday, he had been recovered in uh, intensive care. Uh, he didn't feel well, and unfortunately, two days later, he didn't make it. Extremely, extremely, extremely sad about that news. Um, strength, prayers to the family. It's um, it's shocking. It's shocking because he was extremely young, 57 years. So they are speaking about that correctly. Let's see if Italy, when they will play against uh, Venezuela, they will hold a minute of silence or they will postpone it when Serie A will be back with all the teams doing it. Maybe they can do it twice. The thing that we don't want to see is what happened last weekend between Napoli and Inter with racist uh, episodes between Acerbi and Juan Jesus. Incredible. One player that is going with one version, another player that is going with another version. At the moment they are taking time to investigate because they want to be extremely sure. And we will come back when we have the exact truth of what happened on the field. Acerbi is risking big. Acerbi is risking extremely big. He can even miss 10 days, which means season over for Acerbi in Italy. It's sad. It's extremely sad because it's again in Italy. It's again an opportunity to speak about football, to speak about whatever that is missed because they are speaking about these kind of really sad episodes. I said it on my other channel so many times. I want to say it also here. I believe I already spoke about it. It needs to stop. It needs to stop and people need to be accountable and needs to be responsible, needs to be examples. 
it can't be tolerated. In Italy, they are slightly speaking about the national team. On page 24, easy, chill. Let's speak about other things. We have other controversy to speak about. But hey, it's true. National team is also playing. They are speaking about the new ones that are waiting for a debut. Like Carneseki, goalkeeper. Even if his chance to start are really, really, really small. Knowing that Donnarumma is number one. Vicario is number two. But they are Bellanova that are pushing. Cambiaso that are pushing. There is that uh, new guy from Verona on loan from Napoli for Oruncio that is pushing there is Lorenzo Lucca that is pushing a lot of players they want to prove that they also deserve to play and they will have maybe the opportunity against Venezuela already tomorrow that was it for me I hope you enjoyed everything we talk about we talk about a lot it's a long video so maximum of like don't forget to subscribe grazie thank you and we see each other tomorrow